Morningside University is a small liberal arts program, and so our approach to revising the curriculum uh, is, is maybe slow, I'm not sure, but it started out, um, what we did was we tried to embrace the essentials with the perspective of this is no different than what we do all the time. So what I mean by that is we started out, we knew we needed to do curriculum revision because it's been a while and that's what we do, but we also know that we are a very small program and we have a faculty of five, if you will, and so therefore, you know, we did not form specific committees. What we did is um, we came together as a whole and just started approaching it step by step. So the first step it was obviously we took part in the early um, drafts to provide feedback back to um, AACN regarding the drafts of the essentials. So we felt like we've been talking about the essentials for a long time. And I think that's really important. You have to you can't just read the essentials and say, oh, yep, we're gonna do it. You have to, you have to almost start to become part of the essentials, I think. You have, to, you have to think about it, cultivate it a little bit, and then um, start doing, I think, step-by-step -step approach. So then we moved into um, curricular mapping um, of what we currently do um, and then what is in the essentials. And we looked at things that we felt like we featured well, things that we did well, and then we tried to focus on that a little bit more, but then also identified the areas that um, were weaknesses for us. Um, and then started to look at, okay, how do we make these into more competency um, competency-based types of outcomes opposed to just knowing we deliver and so that was really important to us and that's the the spot we're at now now we're looking at is how do we move these into more competencies in our courses but we have to because we're small again we have to be very intentional um, but making sure that we promote that scaffolding throughout our, our curriculum so our students truly can demonstrate the skills opposed to the doing it one time. So making sure that it's not um, like a checklist type of thing. We, the other thing besides um, doing that, we did look at the gaps in our curriculum and then from those gaps, um, we looked at how can we approach one step at a time. And so, um, I think that's been very helpful for us, again, for being such a small program. It was, we took it, took it by small chunks opposed to, okay, now we gotta implement the new essentials. We just looked at, first thing is, looking at our curriculum, identifying the gaps, identifying where does a, our current curriculum align with the essentials, and then um, what types of changes do we need to make in our courses, and then now, how are we really going to ensure that students are developing these competencies? I think one of the things that excite me most about AACN Essentials is the opportunity to really be in this, um, this state where we can impact nursing, the outcomes of nursing, and how we are preparing nurses. Um, I was, um, I thought, listening to our uh, practice partners and what's happening in healthcare, it seemed like that we needed an opportunity to better prepare our nurses for the workforce to be able to um, sustain their nursing career. And it seemed like there was, there was a gap for doing this. And um, the Essentials, I believe, is going to be able to bridge that gap and provide that opportunity for us to have a stronger voice as nurses, to be able to align ourselves with other disciplines that have competency base. I think it's really important for us to listen to our practice partners when they talk about what nurses need what type of skill set they need when they come out um, in practice, and then I want to make sure that we're able to be part of that opposed to listening to what they need and not being able to impact that. So I believe the Essentials is going to help us do that, provide the roadmap of um, where nurses are needing to be and what they will be able to accomplish once they're done with their education. At Morningside, we had the opportunity to um, meet with our practice partners early on and very excited to hear that they, our practice partners embraced the essentials from the very beginning, um, clear back in the draft form. That, that was very important. We had the opportunity to share the draft with our practice partners. They attended some initial webinars and able to give us feedback. But I think one of the things that um, maybe have been a little bit more of a surprise was the fact that the practice partners really um, 
reinforce the importance of those essentials, the importance of knowing when they hire a nurse exactly what that nurse is going to be able to do, especially at the different degree levels and then also different pathways. You know, people can get to their degree or their skill set in a lot of different ways, but people, um, the practice partners didn't really wasn't able to see that in practice. And so this provides that opportunity. So they completely embraced the essentials. Um, and then we kept the practice partners involved in the process all the way through. We've met with them during our advisory council meetings. We meet with them one-on-one um, -on -one in uh, meetings in, in the practice setting to talk about our accomplishments with these essentials. And then also just to continue to hear what is it that they need. and. Again, really reinforce that what they needed was a certain skill set to come out with that um, the essentials speaks to. Um, but I think that's one of the other exciting things about the essentials is that the essentials was developed um, with having the practice partners being able to talk about what they need in practice. And so it, it seems like they've been with us from the very beginning, um, both locally and nationally. So we utilized um, a lot of the tools available, especially the tools through AACN. Um, they have a, a toolkit that's been very helpful starting out right away the, with the mapping. I think um, we have always done mapping, but what it did was it allowed us the opportunity to not take the book, the essentials book, and make it so overwhelming. So once we started utilizing their tools, started to see how other schools started um, to approach the essentials, I think it calmed the nerves down a little bit for us. Um, and then also, the other thing is we utilized a lot of the webinars. So we've watched a lot of webinars. Um, our faculty have attended conferences. And I think the fact that everywhere we go, the essentials is on the agenda. I think that's really important um, because, again, I think I believe strongly it's something you got to keep thinking about. You got to keep, um, you know, again, cultivating a relationship, I guess, with the essentials. The other thing is, is our colleagues, you know, across the state and um, nationwide conferences um, that AACN offers, but it, um, so it's other other vendors offer too. Um, I think that's really helpful too because the more you talk to people from different programs, I think you get new ideas, you get new energy, um, and they become a resource to you too.